All right, it is 833, Jeff Mudflap and the gang. Remember the Jeff Mudflap and the gang podcast at KLLL.com and Apple Podcasts. Be sure and share the show. So if you ever miss anything, you can always catch up with it. So our friend Brenda Garcia from United is here. Brenda, how are you this morning? Oops, sorry. Let me turn that on. Oh, that, oh, okay, on. Sorry. Yeah, now you are. On. Boy, <laughs> if Colleen was here, man, she would be giving me a hard time about that. Um, anyway, how are you today? I'm good. good. I'm trying to. I'm trying to figure out a little phenomenon we had last night. Did y'all hear like a big boom? Maybe have a little shaking. When when, when would this have been? It was maybe about ten o'clock last mm-hmm. night. No, I did not. You no? know, you know that's weird. You say that because. I hadn't even stopped to think about it, but I, that's about the time I went to bed last night, and I remember hearing something, and I just, I thought, it, it sounded like somebody threw something really, really heavy into the dumpster by yeah. my house, but I didn't, I just didn't even think about it much after that, but that would have been around 10 o'clock, so what, what did you, know. did you, several, you heard it? Yeah, several of our neighbors as well were, were posting about it, and we were trying to figure it out, and haven't heard anything. So I'm just I, seeing some like things on uh, Facebook. I mean, uh, one person said it shook their whole house. Yeah, we felt a little shaking in there. So uh, Did you say something about bright light or something? That, well, I saw you, something on the news this br- morning that there was some people saw bright light. I know one of my coworkers, Adam, for Channel 11, mm-hmm. uh, posted some lights that were up in the sky, but it's usually that NASA thing, or not NASA, yeah, they but thought the SpaceX. Was, SpaceX, yeah, that's, that's it. That's what yeah. they said it yeah. was. But, so, but I don't know if it was like, a, could it be a sonic boom? I don't know. I'm not the person to figure it out. I'm going to say sonic boom. Yeah, but you know, I think, I aren't know. sonic booms like illegal now or something? They can't even, do, I, I, the, 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 and the reason I, because <laughs> when I was a little kid growing up in New Mexico, heard sonic booms all the time. And it was just like every few days you would hear a sonic boom. I don't know what all was going on, but in New Mexico, there's all kinds of weird military yeah. things and missile ranges and all kinds of stuff. But I, I thought there was something about like they were they, they can't create those anymore because of, I don't know. Yeah. Don't don't quote me here. We we'll have to look that up. That's that's not, not knowledge that uh, I have off the top of my head here. But as far as what that noise was. That's crazy. I wonder, I'm, so if anybody knows what that was or if you heard it or have any insight on that, text us this morning, 806-900-9630. I, I'm still seeing things on Facebook now Now that I'm looking. Uh, somebody heard it in whiteface. Oh. Really? So, yeah, all the way in whiteface. Okay, so it wasn't just us. Okay, that's, well. That's crazy. All right. Yeah, I, I don't know if that's what if that's what I heard last night, but it just didn't even occur to me that it was anything other than what I thought. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. God, I'm way crazy. off topic, Anton, but I Anton, thought y'all would know. In Anton? Same Anton? thing. Wow. Okay. No, it's anything. You say way off topic. Anything's a topic on this show, Brenda. <laughs> That's Just right, bring Brenda. it up, bring and it's it. a topic. You bring know? the so, topic. Well, we'll see if we can get to the bottom of that or find out some more information about that because, yeah, I hadn't really even. Uh, I'm glad you brought that either. up. Yeah. And, and you didn't hear it? You said? I did not hear it. Of course, you go to bed at like eight, so you uh, were probably deep in eight, rest. And I was in six sleep, or so. seven, right? Oh, gosh. Yeah, yeah. No, no. All right. So, Brenda, uh, other than the, the loud boom last night, well, what, what else is going on? What um, you got for us today? Hmm, we're going to talk about fruit. Okay. But in different forms, because I hear a lot of people, most people like fruit, but they get stuck on a few varieties, or they don't always buy it, or you run out, or it goes bad before you eat it. So I'm going to have a couple of different options that you can keep around okay. that are really easy. And then we're going to have a fresh option that's unique. So I brought these. This is just called crispy fruit, and they're these little, little packs of fruit that you can munch on throughout the day. Okay. Mm, these ones are strawberry. Dried strawberry. Okay. So this it's just like good. a dried strawberry. That's it. That's all there is to it. Now I like to mix these like with a little. I like them with pistachios, so I can. I'll dump a little pistachios in that right. pouch and shake it up. Oh yeah, that's mm-hmm. a good idea. So yeah. I always could. To okay. Pair there you some go. protein Look, there, in there. there. A little dried strawberry thing there. Okay. Mm. It's like a little oh, nice strawberry little... candy. I like it's strawberry. Nice and sweet. Nice little treat there. That yeah. tastes good. I like it. So those are actually in the produce department. Okay. So then in the middle of the stores, um, I've got these. These are the uh, fruit minis. Bear is the brand, and they're really they're just made from fruit. I grabbed all of them but here's you can try these so these are like fruit snacks all right but there's no sugar added it's just made from the fruit juice since i've been eating better Mm -hmm. for the last 10 days Uh uh-huh i really do find that the more i do that the better everything tastes yeah that's 
I mean, vegetables taste better. Mm-hmm. Things like this, they're healthy, but they taste amazing. Mm-hmm. And uh, I'm not smart enough to open up this package. Oh, there it is. Got it? I couldn't find the, the little place where you tear it. Okay, here we go now. So these come in like a fruit roll as well. So if you like like a roll-up type mm-hmm. of fruit or fruit leather, they have those. They've got this. Mm-hmm. This is for mm-hmm. a little bit chewier texture. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, Very nice. These are great for the golf course. They are good um, for the golf course. Nice. Sean's, and- Sean's video in here. We'll post this uh, coming up. But there it is, Sean, right there. So okay. this one is just, there's, um, let's see, those ones are apple pear raspberry and apple pear blueberry mm-hmm. is the flavors in the pouch. I like blueberry. All right. Okay. Two for two. I like both. Last but not least, we we always have our fresh cut fruits. That makes it easier. And what I like about these little cups is they actually will fit like in a cup holder. So maybe if you're going on a trip or you're working around, I just grabbed some pineapple with tahini. Oh, I love pineapple. So I don't know if you're going to love the tahini because I know your spice level, but I like that salty spice on the fruit. Okay. It's also good. We have it with cucumbers as well, but just an option. Interesting. So you don't have to have that one, but it's a great little dip that you have to do. If, if you've never had tahini, it's that I don't salty, mess it up. Do I like spicy. Put it you in can, there and... Yeah, you can pull the cup out, Okay. the top cup. Oh, and it's top. pineapple? Oh, yeah. oh, there, that's how yeah. it works. Okay. And then there's pineapple in the cup, and you can kind of dip the, I don't know if you want to do the line. There's a Jeff, nice I'll let, little I'll line. let you go first because I don't. Okay. Well, I don't care. I, I'm not a big, I mean, I'll, I'm going to eat it, but I, I'm not, I don't care if I eat after you. That's, I don't care the dipping, like the double dip and stuff. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I do care about that. That's why. Thank you. You're very get, sweet and I nice for you. being so thoughtful. You're Please welcome. Okay. Pineapple. Okay. Yeah. Mm, okay. Now you take this. Okay. I mean, I love fresh pineapple. I love pineapple. Um, pineapple. And of course we have Pineapple's mixed awesome. berries and strawberries and even Pineapples oranges that so are already good. peeled. And I dip the pineapple mm-hmm. into the oh, tahine. Is that what it's called? Yeah, into okay. the tahine. This is a very, very popular in that for with it like a Mexican flair to it. Mm. That's wow. It's so good. Papaya is one that of my is, favorite. In man, that. that is a great combination there. Pineapple with tahine. Wow. I mm. never would have thought about that. Gosh, that's good. It's good, yeah. So, mm. just a an up your game type of thing. Yeah. Now, the the fresh plain fruit is fantastic. Of course, mm-hmm. I just brought a little bit different. Uh, flavor I think I like the it. just the pineapple by yeah. itself, though. But it just depends on your. Mm-hmm. Do you like the spice? Do you like the? You know, that's really good. A lot of people like yeah. it on watermelon, mm-hmm. and honeydew melon. It's Got really good on paper cucumbers. Towel there or something. Sure. I know, yeah. Brenda. Sometimes. But, I got to run all the buttons over here, oh, yeah. and I get pineapple juice everywhere. Maybe Thank maybe you. not the cleanest of snacks. Right, the other right. two are, are nice and yeah. clean. Mm. All right. Those are good. So, all right. Yeah. Very tasty. Hey, by the way, um, our friend Melanie, uh, she, she just sent us something from Facebook. And, again, it involves that SpaceX thing. We're talking about what that loud noise yeah. was. Somebody had mentioned that it was uh, there was a, a booster separation or the SpaceX thing was signed. Maybe that's what caused yeah, it. I don't know. It, it but... almost because the one of the pictures I saw was almost like a spaceship, and it, but but I but that would make sense. The boom, like the okay, going into the almost like a sound wave to go out. Yeah, yeah. you know how you see the like sound. Yeah. Boom, boom, so maybe that's what boom. it was. I don't know, but um, we'll we'll continue to get to the bottom of it. Interesting. Yeah, interesting very interesting. Morning. Yeah, yeah. No, it's like when you hear stuff like that, though. You, you always. These days, the weird things happen like that, and it always makes you start going, "Gosh, what what was that? That what was that? that was a little creepy, yeah. maybe." You know, never seen that in the sky. Yeah, you never know what what's going to happen. This I know. This year, I think we're all. I think everybody is sitting here on edge in twenty twenty four with this feeling of, "Man, I I don't know what we're going to see this year." But <laughs> I don't want to brace ask. yourself. I know I don't <laughs> want to ask exactly. So, all right. Well, Brenda, thanks for dropping by this morning and bringing in some more uh, tasty, uh, healthy snacks and uh you know now that we're we're doing this working out at umc connect and everything I mean, we're all about healthy go. snacks and telling you i've eaten healthier this last 10 days than i ever have